Hello friends. Today we will discuss about numerical aperture, acceptance angle, acceptance cone and fractional refractive index in fibers. Now what is numerical aperture in fiber? So numerical aperture it is a light gathering ability or capacity of an optical fiber. It means that more than numerical aperture more efficient will be fiber because it will collect more light rays. Therefore it is also known as figure of merit. Next is numerical aperture is related to the refractive index of core and cladding and outside medium as n a is equals to under root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n0. Now what is n1? n1 is the refractive index of core, n2 is the refractive index of clad and n0 is the refractive index of outside medium. Now if the outside, outside medium is 1 that is air, air then numerical aperture will be n is equals to root of n1 square minus n2 square. Now acceptance angle, now acceptance angle now what is the principle, or what is the basic of acceptance angle. Now first let us uh, discuss the definition. It is a maximum angle made by the light ray with the fiber axis so that light can propagate through the fiber after total internal reflection. Last time I have told you that total internal reflection is the principle of the fiber. So relation between numerical aperture and acceptance angle is n a is equals to sine theta. So where is sine, what is sine theta here, sine theta or sine theta naught is the acceptance angle. Now for example this is the core of the fiber, this is the core of the fiber having refractive index n1 and this is the clad having refractive index n2, this is the outside medium, outside medium means this act as the denser, uh, sorry this act as the rarer medium, this is the rarer medium and this is the denser medium. So this is the core of the fiber and this is the fiber axis, this is the fiber axis. Now light will pass from here, it is the maximum angle made by the light ray. So light ray will incident here from the outside medium, for example this medium is here, from the outside medium and if the angle is more than the critical angle, if the angle is more than the critical angle, it will be then total internally reflected, to total internally reflected. So this light ray can incident from, incident from this side also, incident from this side also and from this side also. So this is the maximum angle, for example this angle is 30 degree, this angle is 30 degree, this is the meaning of maximum angle, if the angle will be 30.1, so the light ray will not be reflected because then the, this angle, this angle will become lesser than the critical angle. For example, critical angle is a 60 degree. So if I if I will make suppose this is 30.1, then this will become, for example, less than 60 degree. Now light lesser than 30 degree, that is 29 degree. It will 29 degree, 28 degree, 27 degree. It will be it will be transmitted through the core of the fiber after total internal reflection. And if I join this, if I join this, this will become a cone. So light incident within the this cone will be total internal reflected. So this is known as acceptance cone. This is known as acceptance cone. It is the cone in which the light incident at acceptance angle or less than the acceptance angle then the light can propagate through the fiber after total internal reflection. Similarly fractional refractive index this is known as delta is equals to n1 minus n2 by n1 relation between numerical aperture and delta is n is equals to n1 divided by root of 2 delta. So this is all about numerical aperture, acceptance angle, cone and fraction refractive index change. Please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.